boys and girls. How you doing? It's Mr. Sunito. I've got a book for you for today, and this is a good one. It's called Subway Ride. Subway Ride. Now, I thought for a moment, I thought you probably haven't been outside a lot lately, and you might not have been on a subway before. So I'm going to show some pictures of a subway so we can get ready for the book. You want to see? Okay. Hang on one second here. So the word subway can mean a few different things, but um, what we're talking about here, it's a place underground like this. And do you know what goes through the subway? That. That's a train. That's, we might even call that a subway train. And that's one from Chicago. And we have a lot of subway trains that run in Chicago. And this book, let me show you this book. Hold on, let me move that out of the way. Let's see if I can get that in focus. Okay. That book is called Subway Ride. It's written by Heather Lynn Miller and illustrated by Sue Rama. Now take a look at the cover. Have you ever ridden on a subway train before or gone to the subway? What was it like? Did you have to go down a set of stairs? Mm. Was it, did you see a lot of light? Was it dark? What did it sound like? Mm. Did it look like the train on the cover when you went? Well, even if you've never gone on a subway before, we're going to read the story Subway Ride. Oh, wait a minute. Who's on this train? Do you notice the children? Look at that. Yeah. Here's our title page. Subway Ride by Heather Lynn Miller and illustrated by Sue Rama. And what do you notice about this? I mean, I'm sure you can tell that that's the earth, but what's going all over the earth here? Different subway trains. Now, this is the dedication page. We talked about this last time. And over here it says, to Lola, who set me on the right track, and to Dr. Stephen Schickman with my gratitude. But let's look at the pictures on the dedication pages. What do you notice in all these pictures? Do you see the arrows? Hmm. Do you see the children? Where do you think they're going? Hmm, what do those arrows mean? So many questions. It says down, down, down. Step down below to see the world. Now, off we go. Look at those children. Where do you think they're going? We pay our fare, we turn the gate. So the fare is the amount of money that the train costs. And the children are using their subway cards. You might be able to see that there or there. And that's how they pay. They use the cards to pay. Look at that. That says Cairo. Let's look at this illustration. 
and they get through the gates with their cards. And then this is part of an arrow. And it tells the children where the subway trains are. Up here it says, to platform. And look, it's written in another language. They're in Cairo. And that is, a con that is um, I'm not sure what that language is, so I'm not going to say what language that is. But the platform is where you stand to wait for the train. And here, you can see the children on the platform waiting for the train. Look at their faces. They are waiting. Some of them are sitting down. Some of them are standing. And it says here, underground, we wait, wait, wait. And this card says Moscow. Moscow is a city in Russia, thousands of miles away from Chicago. My guess is that would be the language Russian. Now, why are the children not able to go from one part of the world to another on a subway? Hmm. Maybe the trains don't go all the way. So I'm wondering if maybe this story is going to be fiction and we're using our imagination. Let's keep reading and find out. Saxophone blasts, jazzy vibes. Oh, here's a saxophone. Drums and cymbals jam and jive. And what are the kids doing? They're dancing to the music while they wait on the platform. Here's some drums. This ticket or card says Stockholm. Have you ever been in the subway and heard people playing music? I hear music in the subway all the time, boys and girls. I wonder if you have. Rumbling, roaring, blurring speed. Look how fast that train is going. It's blurring. Silver bullet rushing breeze. Whoosh. And this card says London. Now, do you see how the author uses these special words to tell you that the train is moving very fast? Rumbling and roaring. Ooh, it means it's very loud because it's moving so fast. Blurring speed. Speed means fast. And if it's blurring, it's going so fast you can barely see it. It's like a silver bullet rushing. That's another good word. And when it rushes by so fast, it makes a breeze. And you can see that in the girl's hair. And this card says London. That's another city. We step on quickly, move aside. Doors slide shut. Our turn to ride. So where are they at now? They're on the train. And this card says New York City. And you can see all the people coming and going on the platform. And also all the people on the train. Oh, here's another platform. It says, busy folks step off and on. We stay put. Our trip is long. Washington, D.C. I think you're going to like this. It says, doors slide open, we slide back. So they're still in the train. What does that say? Chicago. 
Hmm. Doors slide open, we slide back. Subway whizzes down the track. And in Chicago, some of our trains come up out of the ground and they go on train tracks that are over our heads. I know you've seen trains up over your head on the elevated tracks. This is Chicago. Uh, now it says Atlanta. We bump and sway, we hold on tight, we zip through tunnels, dark as night. Oof. How can you tell the tunnels are dark? You see the lights on the train, boys and girls? Now they're in Mexico City. Clomping, stomping, shuffling feet. Step to the clacking subway beat. Last stop, we hear the driver shout. Now they're in Tokyo. I think that looks like Japanese. Doors open wide, we step out. So now they're leaving the train. Step up, step up from the dark. Where do you think they're going to step up to? Hmm. Look at this. What's the setting here, boys and girls? It says a celebration in the park. See him flying the kite. And these are all the different places that the trains were in the book. Atlanta, Cairo, Chicago, London, Mexico City, and Moscow. Mm. Oh, here's some more. New York City, Stockholm, Tokyo, and Washington, DC. So that makes me think, when I go back to the title page, oh, now I know why they had these subways, these trains going around the globe, because they were going to cities all over the world. Hmm. Boys and girls, do you think this was fiction or nonfiction? What do you think? Hmm. You think about that for a moment. Go get your writing materials, get your writer's notebook, uh, crayons, pencil, and let's come back and do some writing. All right, boys and girls, are you all set? Do you have your writer's notebook or a sheet of paper, pencil and some crayons? Okay. So let's start by writing the title of the book. It's called Subway Ride. And you can write your first and your last name next to that. And I've got some directions here. So let me read them and see what we've got. It says... Imagine a subway ride that you would like to take. Where would you go? Now, you can go anywhere in the world. You can go to another city, another country. You can go for a short train ride, a long train ride. But I want you to think about that. Where would you like to go? Hmm. Maybe you want to go to Egypt. Ooh see the pyramids. Or in the book, they went to Japan. Maybe Paris. Maybe you have a favorite country in Africa that you'd like to go to. Anywhere you want to go. Now, to get you started, let me see if I can do this here. Uh, you might use a sentence that begins like this.
and it would say, I would take a subway ride to, and you think about where you would like to go. And it could be downtown Chicago. It could be Mexico. Again, anywhere you want. Now you can pause the video and work on this, but there's more, so be sure to come back. The next set of directions says, what would you see on the train? What would it feel like? Mm. So you're gonna have to add two more sentences and you might do something like this. You might say, I would see and think about what you might see. Would you see other children? Would you see other people? What would they be like? Oh, use your imagination. Would you see the band on the subway platform? Or... When you got out, what would it look like? So think about that. And then what would it feel like to be on the train? Ooh, so that's your next sentence. It would feel. Now let's think about this. Remember, that train is going very fast. We saw how fast it went in the book. So you're definitely going to want to think about what it might feel like when you're sitting on that subway train. Is it going so fast that you feel the pressure? Is it bumpy? Is it smooth? Maybe you picked a train that's going slow in your imagination. You decide and you write your sentence. And then at the bottom you can add a picture about your subway train. Let me see, maybe my subway train is going to look like this. And I can put some windows on there, like this. And maybe I'll put a big window here at the beginning. And then maybe, oh, I know, I think I'm gonna put some lights like I saw in the book. Maybe like that. I don't know, you use your imagination. I'm gonna keep working on my subway train, maybe some speed lines like that to show it's going real fast. And uh, you work on yours. Send me a picture in Class Dojo and I will talk to you soon, boys and girls. Have a good day.